Pura B. Gonna be negative as soon as they come to the B. As soon as they come to the B, we always gotta stop over here. Stop over here and check it out. And for many, <laughs> anyone who lives on Oahu, many of the kids spend a day at the bay, either body surfing or jumping off the rock. And even when I first got back into body surfing, that first year, I never really know all of, all of the good spots to body surf. So the only places that I came was like Waimea, check out the shore break. See them. We, you know, we come up now, and body surfers, it's almost like, I don't know if you remember Highlander. If you, Highlander, when one immortal guy see the other guy, it's like, oh, <laughs> you know? And that's kind of like how body surfers is, because we're so rare. When you see another body surfer down at the beach, like, oh, and you see, okay, that guy gets skills. And it's not, it's easy for us to just like, hey, what's up? I think it's a little different for like the surfing world. I think that's one of the major things different about body surfers is, like some guys, they're just, they like be alone, but for the most part, it makes more sense when there's a group, like it's more fun. And, but yeah, over here, she's, this is probably one of my top, I don't know, there's so many places and hard to put stuff into lists, but this is one of my favorite places in the world. And just cause the thing get, it's partly because of the, the history and the heritage of, you know, like the original guys around on the North Shore, Eddie Aikau, 